Hello everyone and welcome back to yet another video. Today I'm gonna talk about a tool called Hackstrike AI MCPs and this is basically a collection of MCP servers that you connect, you can connect to your AI or LLM and it can uh, use certain tools to hack for you and this is basically a part two to my video automating bug bounty using Cal MCP server but this one is quite a bit better and uh, this video became really popular so I thought that I would introduce a part two to this video and I will showcase this Hackstrike AI tool and uh, first of all I'm gonna show you how to set it up and after setting it up we will uh, use it against real challenges. These are like bug bounty challenges and if it can do that it can do bug bounty uh, and uh, You can basically try it out yourself and I will just showcase how to set it up step by step with Claude desktop So without further ado, let's get into the video So to download this tool you would just have to go to their github So if you go to hexstrike.com, they have a github up here or you can just go to this hexstrike AI github and what you uh, want to do is just copy this github link and i'm in my tools directory so i'm just gonna git clone this hackstrike ai now i'm gonna going to cd into this hackstrike ai repository and if you just go ahead and scroll a little bit down you will see some instructions on how to install it i'm gonna use uv so i'm gonna do uv uh then v and this is going to create a virtual environment so if i do source dot then we uh, bin activate dot fish it called for me activate dot fish uh, then i'm gonna be activated into my environment and then what i will do is i will just uh copy this command pip uh, 3 install requirements requirements dot txt so i'm gonna do uv pip i think install dash r requirements dot txt like that and it's going to install requirements really really quickly for me so it's just going to take a little bit here and then it should be fully set up then if we scroll down we can see a lot of different documentation but what we are interested in is cloud desktop integration and that's basically showcasing how to set up the hackstrike ai mcp inside cloud desktop and for me i have already done that so if i open another pane and i new them that you can see that i have uh this directory here and it is automatically uh, set up for me because uh, i did it a little bit before so i'm just gonna wait for the last of these packages to download and then i will show you how to use this so to start the server you just have to do python 3 hex server.py and then uh, inside of your uh i guess cloud desktop or any ai that you use configuration make sure that it's hextrack mcp.py and not hextrack server.py because those are two different things uh, now our uh, our hextrack has installed so i'm gonna do python 3 and the reason uh, why i don't use uv because in this configuration i also specified python 3 and these might collide so uh, i sh i uh, recommend to you you to use uh, Python 3 and now it is working so after setting everything up I'm just gonna open Claude uh, desktop here and then let's wait a little bit for it to launch and then we can see that we have uh, uh, set up our Claude desktop so if you if it's the first time for you uh, using cloud desktop then you will have to go up here into developer options and then you will have to enable them for me they are automatically enabled and if i open mcp log and scroll all the way down we can see that we have uh, a message from server from hackstrike so this means that the server has successfully connected to verify that what i can do is i can ask uh, ai and the uh, one important note here is that for some MCP servers, it shows the tools here, but for this one, for me at least, it doesn't show tools here. So if you wanna test if it has access, I will just ask it, do you have access? Yes, I do have access to MCP server. And then it lists all of the commands. So uh, our AI has all of the access needed and it's asking me what, uh, what do I want to do? I'm just gonna now just test uh, really quickly um, curl google.com for me and 
tell me the headers and as we can see it is sending a request and yep it got the request i think this tool doesn't exist or something not actually sure it says hex strike send request not found but it found the tool needed so uh, it's working fine so now let's actually try it against some real challenges because i guess these challenges um are from yes we hack and they create like uh real bug bounty challenges that you can do and for example active challenges you can do uh, to get points to yes we hack so those are like some real challenges so i'm just gonna try with let's see let's say this one halloween special and uh, all all i will do is i will just copy the description of the challenge i will copy and give the ai description then i'm gonna give him the code code here and then like that and then the last thing, uh, thing I'm gonna give it is the setup code. And then let's see if it actually manages to do it. The setup code is too large. It goes, it goes up here into paste it. And then uh, let's just send one request. I'm gonna open network tab and just type in test. And then let's see where is our post request. Post this challenge link. Um, input test so let's actually just right click copy value uh, and then just copy I guess the curl and then uh, this is the curl to uh, I guess uh, send input to the challenge and I'm not gonna tell it anything else I'm just gonna tell it uh, do the challenge give me the write up and the flag using hex strike mcp servers and let's see if it will actually do it so i haven't actually tested it uh i'm curious myself it is if it's actually able to do the challenge and uh, if we go ahead and look at the logs we can see all of the logs what it does so it sent through http framework curl request to google.com and it sent a lot of which commands here so it knows what kind of tools we have and which we don't uh, and uh, it just checked what tools are on my system so a lot of these fail because i'm on arch linux here and not on my cad installation keep in mind i'm using sonnet 4.5 and i'm not using the opus 4.5 so this is a little bit worse version but uh, i'm hoping that it can still do this challenge what i'm gonna do here instead of waiting uh, and wasting your time uh, i'm going to pause the video here and then when it finishes uh, executing i'm going to come back and we will see if it manages to do this challenge so our ai has stopped analyzing and let's see if it actually was able to do this uh, from what i can see what it did to solve it it was using execute python script and it was creating this python script for executing the file and then we can see that it actually has solved the challenge and it got the flag so let's see what is the write-up here so vulnerability as uh, command injection via unicode normalization bypass and it is giving us the critical uh, flaw in the application i guess and then it says that it can be bypassed by Unicode because what it's doing, it's replacing the quote uh, with underscore. And then uh, because it is replacing only the quote, we can bypass it uh, bypassing uh, this uh, Unicode full with apostrophe to the application and then we can just print environment the flag variable so let's actually see if it is correct uh, i guess we can just copy and paste it here let's submit and uh, we actually didn't get, get the flag print environment flag and they got replaced um through the browser it's not working i actually haven't solved this challenge myself i haven't tried it uh, but it looks like it's not uh, really difficult. You just have to know that uh, uh, Unicode bypass and is it is a pretty straightforward command injection. Uh, but uh, 
what actually is important in our case is that the AI managed to solve this challenge. I guess uh, you could personalize the AI and just uh, tell it that you only want it to execute commands through Kylo, for example, and use Kylo CP server, which I can talk in another video. I have it set up right here. It's called Epca Kylo AI. Um, if you want to hear about that, please let me uh, know in the comments. But in this case, it was using Python solving and we couldn't like debug what it was doing uh, or anything like that. We can set up a lot of different MCP servers to, to uh, Claude. And uh, if you don't know, it probably in here it's like 250 MCP servers. I tried setting it up in uh, VS Code, but it couldn't even load for me because there were too many MCP servers there. Uh, or MCP clients, I guess. Uh, not actually sure what's the correct terminology there. Uh, but yeah, it is a really good suit for CTF, ethical hacking, bug bounty. It even uh, advertises as bug bounty CTF for Team Zero D Research uh, AI here. So it actually is really good. And we can see that that's the correct flag. Well, I'm not actually going to uh, solve this challenge myself. Uh, let's. Uh, ask it, uh, can you provide me with curl request? Give us a curl command. It gave us with the cookie here. Uh, those headers are not necessary. It could strip them, but I guess it's not doing that. Um, and then let's copy this. Grab Pooja. Nope, it's not giving us the flag. I guess the uh, curl doesn't work. Uh, where did it actually store the Python script? Oh, it was just executing the Python code, I see. Did it create the exploit file? It's in temp hex strike files, this. So let's try to execute it. Oh, it wants us to give it the JWT token. But yeah, as we can see, we got the flag and we have the dojo goes to say boo. Um, let's try to, I just want to, just want to like, modify the script so I can uh, see what's the output and uh, it's just extracting HTML and then put it uh, putting it to hex dump and then extracting it so what I'm gonna do I'm gonna print uh, decode it and then I'm gonna try to execute the script again decoding hex dump oh I just actually just printed the flag uh, what I'm gonna do is just go to response and then print uh, response.txt. We can still see that print environment flag, which is weird. Not actually sure I'm getting into the challenge itself here. It's probably this. So that's the hex dump of the flag probably. Um, let's see, let's copy. Let's just copy these characters and then go to cyber chef. It's like reversed flag. Well, it's interesting, but yeah, uh, I'm not here to solve the challenge. Uh, I was here to showcase this AI. I, find, I found it really, really cool. Um, and I hope you find some good usage for it. And if you, that's probably going to be it for the video. Uh, if you enjoyed it, please make sure to leave a like and subscribe to my channel and comment if you want to see more content like this, because uh, I see that a lot of people are actually interested in this content. So if there's a lot of, uh, like, if a lot of people want to see it, then I will probably record more videos. But for now, that's going to be it. Thank you for watching, and I will see you in the next video. Goodbye.